I understand the situation now. I'm thankful no harm befell you. Either of you. Pardon me. Huh? But we must address the gravity of there being another guardian resembling the little one, your highness. Yes. If it is in some way connected to the calamity, we must swiftly come up with a strategy. Out with it. We both know you'll be needing my unique skills to pilot that divine beast. Hmm? However, about this pathetic knight in your service, are you sure he's got what it takes? <coughs> what the? Oh, I see. Our friend believes itself to be a knight as well, in service of the princess. <laughs> it... what? Ugh. Ridiculous. Every last one of you. You have a lot to look forward to. Can we start eating already? Surprising. With that, the four divine beasts were assembled with their pilots. Training began in earnest, and the plan to defeat Hyrule's enemies began to coalesce. Zelda continued her work, calibrating the divine beasts and researching ancient relics. Much to her frustration, however, her sealing power remained dormant. Frustrated. But, Your Highness... Right now, we must do whatever is in our power. Please inform Mipha and Daruk that we depart tomorrow morning. Then you plan to go to the Divine Beasts? Understood. hasn't awakened is because I haven't worked hard enough. I imagine that when I visit the Divine Beasts, he'll say as much. Adjustments to the Divine Beasts are not yet complete. We 
must fine-tune them for the individual pilots to ensure that they will be as effective as possible. So many of their parts are in place. Don't look in the back. Daruk, I have a request. Might I join you for training next time? I would like to be fully prepared. Learning new ways to fight foes might do me some good. Of course! The more the merrier! <sighs> Thing is, we still need a night gritty enough to see all the darkness, and they're nowhere to be found. Um, uh, yes. Although, hey, if you see anybody that...
not on his side.